Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Ah, yes, the sun is out. I got a nice view of Sutro Tower in the distance. I'm here in the Lone Mountain District of San Francisco because this park was once a cemetery. Actually, this whole neighborhood that I'm in was once a cemetery. But there's one thing here in this area that I want to discuss and talk about today. And it's in that street right there. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Able to get out and put out a vlog today because the, the weather's better, the sun is out, daylight savings is giving us 12 hours of sunlight, which is cool. But today we're going to hop into the whole history of San Francisco and how these houses around me right here used to be part of San Francisco's old Catholic cemeteries till back in the 1800s when they decided to move the cemetery over all to Coma one building remained and it's still here let's go check this out let's go right here at the end of Lorraine Court one Lorraine Court sits the San Francisco Columbarium restored active Victorian area final resting place of a lot of people in San Francisco. This is, if you're not familiar with this area, this is where they do a lot of cremations here. And what's funny about this history of this area right here, from 1934 to 1979, this place stood abandoned, looted, vandalized, homeless people was pretty much just hanging out, doing anything when the San Francisco Home Association decided let's get this together let's put this back and for the past 30 years the Neptune Society Emmett Watson is current caretaker of this historian building now remember back in the days when they had all these broken windows is infested with rats raccoons all that stuff and again they they took care of it and restored it now 1800s this is when this was built back in the 1800s and here's a little signage right here of what it is one Lorraine court and Damon Center and then looking at over here you have a little candle let's go take a look at the structure on the outside which is pretty nice because look at that dome that dome tower cool place to visit as we walk in and to pay respects of the people that are here I'm gonna try to get a video of the inside I did call and get permission on the inside but I'm not gonna take videos of their names which I said I wouldn't but Here's a little, another little memorial, memorial placard right here. Now, I don't know if this memorial placard is a memorial placard or if there's actually ashes behind there. So, if there's ashes, I forgive me for showing your name. Beautiful stained glass window. And as we walk around, the architectural work that was put in for the restoration in here. It's pretty darn cool. This is pretty cool. This is something that I never walked in because I was always creeped out by it. But 
the structure of how this place look and the history behind it it's pretty amazing and it's pretty massive inside when we get in i'm going to try to get in do a little quick video just so i want to show you how the dome looks from the inside but i did get permission i did call ahead and ask for permission so if you plan on visiting this place call get permission first because they do services here you don't want to come here and film in the middle of services but let's go see what else this place has let's go there is a lot of people who are cremated and are still inside here and this one's called the hall of olympians right in there i'm gonna go see what they have before i film in there now inside here look at that beautiful stained glass that they have in there they do have people that are doing their last or this is where a lot of them are in right now and i'm just gonna do a quick walk through look at that stained glass right there that's pretty cool there's a lot of famous people here as well i heard um the old mayor uh harvey milk is in here all right i came back outside there was a person in there paying their respects to their loved ones and i didn't want to disrespect them by talking but it goes all the way outside and then there's some inside as well i'm gonna walk around the whole building check out some of the architectural work again renovated to make it look the way it does now pretty cool now around here i'm assuming these are more of what what this building is and this is the inside right there i'm gonna pause it and click when i'm inside as soon as we walk in it's like a nice big foyer they got some urns inside as well Check that out. That's the dome. Pretty cool. It's quiet in here, so I'm a little whispering. There's two floors. Second floor up there. And then you got the main floor down here. Another pretty stained glass. Look at the dragons or whatever they are. Pretty cool. That's a nice stained glass of God right there. I like how there's two floors up on the second one and this main one down here. And I love that dome right there. Standing right underneath the dome. It looks a lot better inside than it does from the outside, but it, man, just check out that architectural design. Look at all the work they put into restoring this place. Pretty cool. Glad they did. It's the main entrance right there. Again, the artwork, the design, what they did to get this back to look in the way it does. Beautiful. Beautiful. And check out the hedge work that they did as well. Look at how it's well groomed. They also have one that looks like it's in the ground right here. And then there's some benches as well, but mostly everyone's inside, which is kind of cool. Throughout this area, they have different names for the area that the person is their final resting place. This one's called Hall of Heroes. I'm not going to go in, but it's just one of the few that they have in there. Side view of the Column Baron. And again, look at the design, the artwork, the dome from the top, from the outside. Looks, looks good too from the outside, but I love the way it looks from the inside. 
one last look from the exterior. Now it makes one big circle when you walk in. You can go either to the left or to the right. And again, there's more halls over there. I was in the Olympian, the Olympian room or Olympus room over there. And then made my way around to the inside. San Francisco history that a lot of people should know is still here. All right, guys, that's going to do it from the San Francisco Column Bear and one Lorraine Court. There's a, I'm not sure if it's a wives' tale, a story, one of those things about, like, you know, the ghost, the lady in white. There used to be a story that, that was shared with a lot of people about if you drive around this neighborhood late at night, you'll see a little girl who looks lost. You go up to her, she doesn't talk, she doesn't anything, she looks confused. She'll hand you a note. And the note will have the address of one Lorraine Court. Now, if you're not familiar with this city or don't know where this city is or, or you're not familiar with the area, that's one Lorraine Court right there. Again, now, little girl, teenage girl, middle-aged girl, I'm not sure, but it's just one of those stories that you hear around. And again, this area, not that long ago, they found someone was doing renovations in their garage. Could have been anywhere here in this garage. And when they were digging up the ground, they found an old coffin of a little girl. They brought that coffin over to Coma, where they gave it its final resting place right up there. But this area is rich, old San Francisco cemetery. Forget the name of it, Western Cavalry Cemetery, I want to say what it was called. but. I'm not sure. I had to pause it for that UPS truck to leave, but cool piece of history. Again, get permission before you come in here. Don't just come in here and be respectful to the people that are laid to rest here. But it's pretty cool to visit. I've been here in this city for over 40 years, and this is the first time I ever visited that place. So it's cool. It's cool. Just imagine back in the 1800s, this was the lone building, and around me, where I'm standing right here, even below me, used to be a cemetery. Crazy. I think that's crazy. Check this place out. The vlog will continue again tomorrow. The sun is out for 12 hours, which is good. Gives me more time to go out, do more adventures. This, this was something I always wanted to do. I'm glad I did. Thumbs up like comment and subscribe thanks for watching guys vlogs ended go in peace If I was driving in the middle of the night and someone knocked on my window or I saw somebody dazed and confused and they handed me a letter saying that this is their address, I probably wouldn't stop. That's just me though. That's just me.